there were plenty of excellent TV shows to binge watch while we were stuck at home in 2020. But what's next? Here are the 10 biggest TV shows to watch in 2021. I thought I was doing the right thing. But I failed you. The first two seasons of the Karate Kid spin-off Cobra Kai screened on YouTube Premium, but for season three, the show is moving over to Netflix. This is great news for fans of the continuing adventures of Daniel and Johnny 30 years after the original hit 80s movies. Seasons 1 and 2 are already available if you need to catch up, or you can check out our video on everything to know about Season 3. With The Falcon and the Winter Soldier delayed until next year, WandaVision will be the first MCU show to hit Disney+. Plus. It's twilight time. We've known for some time that it wouldn't be a standard superhero show, and the trailer revealed just how strange it promises to be. Vision and Scarlet Witch are now living in suburbia, trying to maintain normal lives, and much of the trailer suggests that this is presented in a classic sitcom format. But as MCU fans know, Vision was killed in Infinity War, something the trailer alludes to, and things are definitely not what they seem. If it all seems confusing, check out our videos explaining the comic book origins of Vision and Scarlet Witch. Release the king! I'll give you my last wish! The Witcher was one of Netflix's most popular shows in 2019, and it's a no-brainer that the streaming service has a second season in the works. Showrunner Lauren Schmidt Hisrich has said that The Witcher Season 2 will arrive in 2021, yes. and that the story will be more linear than Season 1. Do you know the difference anymore? And there's also a spin-off on the way, The Witcher Blood Origin, though we likely won't see that for a while. With the opening of the alien gates, we are at the crossroads. Amazon announced that The Expanse will return for a sixth and final season before Season 5 had even begun streaming on Prime Video. We don't know much about it yet, as we'll have to wait and see what happens in Season 5. But given what a good home Amazon has been for the series, after rescuing it following its cancellation by Sci-Fi, if production goes smoothly and Amazon sticks to a consistent release schedule, we're expecting The Expanse to release in late 2021. It's a classic L.A. Victorian, built around 1920. It's been almost nine years since the hugely popular anthology show American Horror Story premiered, and the series doesn't show signs of stopping anytime soon. In January, it was renewed for another three seasons, and season 10 will arrive this year. The only images we've seen for the new season so far are this poster suggesting an aquatic horror theme, and this image of a mouth with razor-sharp teeth and a tattooed tongue. The cast this time includes Macaulay Culkin, as well as Kathy Bates, Billy Lord, Finn Whitrock, Lily Rabe, Adina Porter, Leslie Grossman, and Angelica Ross. And fans will be excited to learn that series favorites Sarah Paulson and Evan Peters are also returning. Sunday fun day with these pig dicks. Hope nobody gulps us. Tim Robinson's sketch show I Think You Should Leave was bizarre, easily one of the weirdest sketch comedy series in years. Has this ever happened to you? Robinson's unique brand of humor is absurdist and pushes the envelope for how far it's willing to go to deliver its comedy. While we don't know a lot about the upcoming season, series co-creator Zach Kanan told Variety that The Lonely Island will be involved. It was supposed to drop in 2020, so we'll likely see it in 2021. Disney Plus may not pump out the quantity of original content that Netflix does, but it does have the most hyped shows and movies, primarily from the worlds of Star Wars and the MCU. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier was set to debut in August 2020, but will now arrive in 2021. Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan return to play their respective roles. And they'll be joined by Daniel Bruhl reprising his role as Zemo from Captain America Civil War. Am I... Good businessman? We got a first look at Hulu's upcoming Marvel TV show MODOK at this year's New York Comic Con. We learned that it's going to be a robot chicken-like stop-motion animation extravaganza, featuring one of the Marvel Universe's weirdest villains. MODOK is essentially a floating head with baby limbs whose only real mission is to prove his intellectual superiority, while also ruling the world. In this show, however, he's also a family man. Dad, one of your dumbasses spilled acid all over my boyfriend! Which is sure to make for some truly absurd hijinks for everyone in Involved. Currently, MODOK has no release date, but it's set to hit Hulu sometime in 2021. No resurrections this time. Thanos killed Loki in Avengers Infinity War, but then Avengers Endgame gave the God of Mischief an out when he stole the Tesseract after the Battle of New York and escaped custody. Tom Hiddleston will reprise his role as Loki, who exists in a new alternate timeline that's unburdened by the events of Thor The Dark World and Thor Ragnarok. Expect lots of Easter eggs and additional subversions of established events. There are a lot of new Star Wars series on the horizon, too. While we wait for trailers for Ahsoka, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and more, we at least know one show definitely coming in 2021. Announced in a very cool post credit scene during the Mandalorian Season 2 finale, The Book of Boba Fett is coming to Disney Plus December 2021. The new original series stars Tamora Morrison and Ming-Na Wen as Boba Fett and Fennec Shand. It will be set within the timeline of The Mandalorian and executive produced by Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, and Robert Rodriguez. 
And if this teaser of Fett taking over Java's palace is any indication, we're excited for more. What did you expect? There are even more shows we're hoping to see in 2021. For the full list, head over to GameSpot. And be sure to check out our list of the biggest movies to watch in 2021. What shows are you looking forward to watching? Let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe.